everybody. What? Yes. Oh. At some point, this man's going to need to get a two-minute warrant for this shit, man. That's bullshit, yeah. What's up? If you longer than, like, four seconds, you Pause. probably should. Pause, for sure. Anyway, this what? fat move. You know what I mean? And this is Liquor Store Run. Mm. You know what I mean? A podcast about everything and nothing at, at the, the same, same damn, damn time. time. Oh, you got that right. All right. You can, uh, <laughs> con- you can uh, follow us on YouTube. Facebook and Twitter at on Liquor YouTube S- Liquor Store Run Podcast, Facebook and Twitter Liquor Store Run, and you can email us at lsrpod at gmail dot com. Baby, baby, that is now y'all shouldn't even say that. Lsrpod at gmail dot com. Baby. Y'all, y'all shouldn't even have said nothing. Why not? Right. You took it away from you? Pause. I was, you oh. know, you know, we, Dre says Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and he lets me say that act oh, like it's still run. I apologize. All right, come I on, apologize. man. You, you, you know. All right. Uh, I'm All not right. even going to say what I was about to say. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? This fat mook again, I guess I'm hosting for this week. You bet your ass you hosting. Oh. And uh, to my right, we have... Ashley, hi guys. I'm making an appearance two weeks in a row. Are you happy to hear me? Are they? Yes, we are. To her right. Hey, I'm Ashley's brother and Mook's cousin and Cat's friend, John. And to his right. Big Dick Dudley. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Well. Well, well. uh, (laughs) Well, well, well. Definitely uh, the drunk formerly known as Kev right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think right now it's, uh, you know, the nigga formerly known as Kev. Uh. But, uh, yeah, man, we're here today to talk about some topics and uh, other things, you know what I mean? Uh, and we also got Danielle here, even though she's uh, passed out somewhere. Who wore that ass out? Sounded like oh, a truck, man. all right? So, uh... And uh, wow. I did not say that. Kev did, all right? So, uh, first things first, let's uh, yeah. get this uh, get this out the way, all right? So, um, you know, uh, if you've been listening this far, you would know hopefully. that, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know that we our uh, host is uh, Dre. Um, well, Dre got a new job. And uh, this job, uh, he can't he can't be you know on this podcast with us because apparently we're a little too uh, as the streets say lit for uh, <laughs> their criteria and what they want him to represent. So uh, you know, Dre will no longer be on the show, at least for now. You we know would, what I mean, we would like to wish Dre. The best of luck in his future endeavors, right? And what he's doing right now, because to be honest with you, the job that he got, the career that he has, is very important. A great job he got. Very great job. Well, very. It depends on who you ask. Nah, place. I think it was a. Yeah. I think it was a great job. The man, yeah. don't you think? Great so? job at a great place. Yeah, yeah. we, we ain't gonna did better. Okay. We ain't gonna say what or names. We're just gonna wish this man all the best of luck he has. Yeah. We're gonna miss him on the show with his antics and yeah. his civility. <laughs> and hopefully, um, the place that he is working for. Um, hey, come on, well. come on. Okay, well. yeah. Right. No, I'm not yeah, being, yeah, I'm being sir. serious. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not being a dick. No, 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 bad, no bad blood or nothing like that. We'll uh, still di- uh, talk to Dre. And yeah, we'll see Dre next week, man. At Aiden's birthday, first birthday party, man. Shout out to Aiden. You know what I mean? It's nothing like that, but he just can't do it because of his job. We respect that. You know what I mean? And if he ever decides he wants to come back on and, you know, something happens, yeah. he is more than welcome to do so. And we yeah. would always appreciate his input, feedback, conversation, and skills. The man was a valued asset That's to right. this show and to the community. All right. Anybody have any uh, parting thoughts on that? Uh, shout out to Dre. Ash? I second that. Um, yeah. Good luck to you, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to Dre, man. Right. So, uh, with that being said, this is LSR Part 2 without bitch-ass Dre. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, so we're going to do our top five. Yes, sir. And this week's top five with this Cavs and Celtics trade that went down. There's a Shout to Kyrie. lot of uh, jersey burning going on on social media. So um, we want to dedicate our top five to that. We'll do our top five players' jerseys you wanted retired. And our top, our bottom five players whose jersey you think should have been burned. All right. So uh, we'll start with the bottom, of course. The worst goes first. So, uh, <laughs> Kev, yeah, this should be interesting. <laughs> it was a challenge, I'm going to be honest. Was it a challenge because you had to think of, of one or you had to narrow it down to one? I had to narrow it down to <laughs> one person whose jersey I want fricasseed, who I want crucified, who I wanted victimized who I wanted conquered. I, it was just, it was a challenge. Right. It was a challenge. And you know what? There is one person's jersey who I want to be burned, and it will always be one person's jersey I want to be burned, because this motherfucker just got a chance after chance after chance and fucked me over. That is that set of herpy-having shit Michael Vick. Oh. Uh, hey, man. Hey, I don't blame him. I thought D-Way for a second. But I don't want D Wade's jersey. D Wade never fucked nah, 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 nah. So you think Unless he's wearing it. Then, then that's no <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the jersey. thing is, they both actually have the herbs, so they're both uh, burning already. They both have herpes. They're both terrible human beings. But all lives matter, Vic, his jersey can get burned. Moot murder. Well, I'm going to go to basketball, man. Player on the Sixers. Who, Ivan? <laughs> Don't you start your shit, all right? No, I just asked a question. All that Not look of all, hate all that right? Mook is currently giving John right now. My player would be Matt fucking Guy. Oh, all right. Oh, preach, motherfucker. Burn his jersey. With Burn the anybody that owns that jersey. Because most of them, uh, you know, probably wouldn't be fans of you. Uh, yeah. All lives matter. Hey, hey, hey now. Uh, sis. All right, I don't know much about sports, mm-hmm. but I do remember, I like I like football, and right. I remember a certain year when um, there was a player named Todd Kingston. Oh, 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 oh that, uh, Todd Stinkston. Is that Todd called? Stinkston is what he was called in the city of Philadelphia for a very long time. And... <clears throat> For this very crucial play, I'm so sorry, I have to cough. For this very crucial play, that you know he could have easily caught the ball, but um, it seems like he was afraid, and he decided to run, Forrest run away from the ball. Todd Stinkston earned his name that year, and he earned to get his jersey burnt as well. Great. And speaking of uh, the Todd Stinkston era. Uh, you remember James Trash? Yeah. Chill, yeah. They call him? No, he uh, he actually, I believe he uh, proceeded over the uh, what's the name, Vontez Perfect uh, suspension hearing. Oh, Got really? his uh, suspension reduced down for five games and three. Okay. James Trash. Thrash. James Trash. Thrash. I actually like Todd Pinkson, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure you probably like James Trash too. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, man. They just Go ahead, in the Miller category, huh? All right, man. I like the guy. But uh, he is a ski mask all star, and he uh, got a huge contract after my Pacers going to the finals, losing to the Lakers. It is what it is. We had a big, uh, big playoff run, big finals run. My man Austin Crozier, man. Oh, whoa! Oh. I thought we were gonna go Dale Davis out of coastline. Chill, fuck you, yo. Fuck Dale Davis, Davis is the guy. <laughs> but uh, nah, Austin Crozier is a ski mask all star, man. He got like a fucking five year, forty four million dollar deal after that. So yeah, man. Uh, that was my man. But you know, he's a ski mask all star, man. We can't, we can't have too many. When you say ski mask all star, what does that mean? That means he shows up every day to work with a ski mask <laughs> on because he's yeah, and a fucking bag in his hand because he's stealing money. <laughs> matter of fact, matter of fact, can I change this? Like Austin Crouch, but man, you know I'm going with that fucking liquored up fucking kicker, Mike Vanderjack, because he costed the Colts a fucking Super Bowl, and. 
Well, whatever. It, it don't matter because Hank Basket was only there for a few games. Fuck Hank Basket too. Uh-huh. But uh, he, Mike Vanden. Yeah, Bowl I know. Man, but man, but, but, but I'm I'm gonna go with Mike Vanden. Mike Vanden. My apologies. Thank God. Thank God. Fucking T. Y. Hilton got number thirteen to redeem it. But Mike Vanden. All right. So now we're going to go to the top four. I guess. Yeah. So fantastic we're gonna go. Four. Yeah, fantastic four. So we're gonna go with jerseys that you are retired. I guess that aren't retired yet. Can yeah. I be the stretch man? What's that? In the fantastic four. You want to be the stretch man? You don't want to be the invisible woman? Why? Why would you? I want to be fucking. I'm the thing. Uh, I want to be a human car. torch. Yeah, because you're a flamer. Uh... Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, whoa! Can we do that? Whoa! <laughs> what? Sorry, I got you guys off topic. I do apologize. You're on fire, man. Uh, Kev. Woo! All right. So, um, shit. The thing is, is that, um, this jersey was retired, and I don't care. Uh, I kind of, I I wanted this person, I wanted to pick this person, just because this was going to be my upset pick of the year. Um, can I, can I please still use this person? Please. I would have upset the world. Like I don't. That. I don't know who you're talking about, so I can't tell you whether right, you can. The person who's retired, I'm glad though. fucking got retired, and I'm happy he's retired. I want to be retired. It's fucking Allen Iverson. See, uh, but see, yeah, you, uh, you use one that's already retired, so I think you should. Yeah, I have to use one. I just yeah, well, have- I, no, no. Before you try to slander my man, just go to your go to your jersey, the dude. Whose jersey was not retired that you wanted to retire? Oh, there's obviously only one choice I'll choose with regards to jersey being retired. That'd be Chris Bosch. I love Chris Bosch's jersey being retired because, quite frankly, Chris Bosch did very well for us. Chris Bosch deserves it. In all seriousness, man, I know you hate the guy. But if he does not come back to the Miami Heat, you don't think Dwayne Wade should have his jersey retired by the Miami Heat? Next person. Oh, wow. The person who's jersey of that era, not the championship LeBron era, but our championship beforehand, will always be UD. UD deserves his jersey. Yes, he does, but you don't think D Wade should? Because he's like, LeBron is the best player to ever play in your franchise history, but D Wade is the greatest player in the history of your franchise. No, 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 don't worry, uh, don't worry, Mook. It's just Mook, sir. Thank you, well, I- Oh, well, the jersey that I want retired <laughs> is Mook nah, he, he, nah, he's actually uh, All right. believe, in jail for uh, vehicular manslaughter. Chill, or something, yeah. right? chill, chill. Don't yeah. do that. Don't do that. All right. Oh. I want his jersey retired because his nickname was Mookie, goddammit. And he was the first other Mook I knew in my life. So, uh, shout out to Mook Warren. I think he was a good player, yeah. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to Mook you play a lot. All right, sis. Okay, so we're doing current players no, or players from the past? Yeah. Well, they could be current, but they don't have to be. Okay, so once again, I, I don't do sports that often. I do do football, and I'm going back to my, my team. Yeah, foosball. The Philadelphia Eagles, shout out. Um, so, a jersey that was not retired that I think who deserves to be in the Eagle Hall of Fame is Brian Westbrook. Yeah. He was a, an outstanding running back for our team, and he did lots of good things for our city as well. Mm-hmm. So, I'm, I'm going to pick him. Okay, yeah, that's a really good answer. Random fact, the band Pearl Jam actually named themselves Mookie Blaylock but had to change it because he existed and they could not go on with that name and continue to name their fan project. And Mookie Blaylock happens to be a fan of this. That's weird. Random and weird. I know there's greatness. I know there's some like rock and roll group that uh, made a song called Dead Left Shrimp. He was a player. Oh yeah, yeah. Dead Left Shrimp. Yeah, he uh, yeah, and the Pacers. But uh, yeah, they made a song Dead Left Shrimp. That was uh, really random. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was very random. Yeah, Google it. I don't yeah. know what their group is. Who's, so. who's your Who's your guy? Oh, uh, sorry, man. I was you know I just I just yeah. try to bring the the, the hard hitting facts, man. That's I, I, not. I try to bring the hard hitting facts, man. But uh, my guy, my guy, is a dude who will never get his jersey retired, at least by the franchise I'm going to talk about. 
My guy is the best player in the history of my Indiana Pacers franchise. He was just traded this offseason in Paul George. The Pacers will never retire his jersey. Better than Reggie? He's, he's, he, he is a better player than Reggie. Reggie had a better career as a Pacer, but player for player, Paul George is way better than Reggie Miller ever was. But uh, he'll never get his jersey retired because, you know, the fallout and all this other stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, PG. PG, man. Also, Jermaine O'Neal, man. They, they have a terrible relationship, but, you know. Two of our best. Like two of our best, you know, you never liked four or five no, players in franchise know history. People, but I know he is so like him. Bad relations with the, the What's team. What's wrong with your organization having bad relationships with just random people? Well, I don't think they have a bad relationship with PG, but, you know, people think they fuck him over. P, uh, Jermaine O'Neal never really got the credit he deserved, so, you know, they just don't really fuck with him for whatever reason. And a lot of the brawl shit happened under, quote, unquote, his watch. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. All right. Well, that's our top four. Good job, uh, Jermaine. J.L. We will Number seven, David. Submit. You, you done? Oh, okay. Uh, we will submit this to uh, Facebook for uh, you guys' uh, review. And uh, you'll let us know who y'all think deserved it out of these four, okay? I no, 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 no. You, just, you guys just put whoever you think. Jersey should be retired from some of your favorite teams. Okay, well, you, know? you can do that. You can and do who, that. who or jersey burned. you think should be burned? Like, if you think KD's jersey should have been burned, or if you think LeBron's jersey should have been burned before. Uh, Allen or, Iverson. Or, oh, or no, Gordon his jersey's going to be hanging up in the rafters where it belongs, damn it. Well, it is. He's all the And I'm glad. <laughs> but, uh, anybody, man. That's why. Anybody whose jersey you think should be retired or burned, just uh, put it in the comments. I'll have the poll up uh, whenever Moot lets me know this episode is coming out because uh, we're all back, backed up. But uh, we should we should be caught up probably within the next week or so. Pause. Should be caught up within the next week or so. Yeah. But uh, with that, I think we're going to break, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Y'all motherfuckers will see us soon. On time. Yeah. Shout out to a bill. I hope Tarjay is treating you well. Nigga, what? Whew. Nigga, who? So, um. I mean, oh, yeah, it's Fat Mook. Chill, yo. I'm hosting, bitch. I, I know you host. Fat Mook back. We are back, okay? We're gonna do our little uh, entertainment one. section right now, okay? First thing we're gonna talk about, uh, it was a pretty big fight that happened last Saturday. Oh! Uh,. Floyd Mayweather. Money. Floyd Money Mayweather. TBE, the best ever. Oh my <laughs> got his, uh, got another win in his uh, illustrious. Another one. Illustrious 50 and 0 career, okay? And yeah. he got that win over the Irish shit talking Conor McGregor, mm-hmm. all right? From the uh, UFC fame. Yeah. So, um, you know what I mean? It was a pretty uh, highly publicized fight. You know what I mean? Uh, they broke records. Pay-per-view records. They uh, Maybe. Maybe. Oh, that, that that's 6. not official? That 6.4 is an official. Oh, really? They're talking about it might be in the high fours. Okay, well. So, it might break the record. They're just trying to figure that out. Okay, well. And um, they... Uh, Destroyed the uh, pay-per-view buying, and uh, Mayweather destroyed uh, Conor McGregor's brain a little bit. It, it is a uh, revenue record, though, for like okay. what they made, you know, everything. Like yeah. pay-per-views, how much they made in the fucking arena, yeah. and all that shit. So the I revenue did break live, the record. That's how a lot of yeah, people Yeah, buddy. It. Yep. All right, all right. All we that. not we not support. I it. mean, no, no. We all we all put together our money and watched the show. We I paid. We paid. I yeah, Ashley. Ash fell asleep on the couch. You know, we all just put our money together and legally watched the show on pay per view. Right. We paid our one hundred American dollars. That's so, right. Hard work, hard earned American and, dollars. Because we, you know, that's that's what we do. You know, that's what we do. All right, so um, let's get everybody's uh, opinion the on the fight. Chill, yeah. No, it's a great device. All right, first things first. Um, congratulations to Conor McGregor. Nah. You landed the most punches on Floyd Mayweather ever. 
don't, I, don't I, I just want y'all to, to just, just give it up because quite frankly, everybody's busy giving this motherfucker a damn participation trophy mm -hmm. for lasting 10 rounds in the fight. <laughs> and the motherfuckers who are probably against participation trophies are trying their goddamnness to give this man one just because he lasted 10 rounds in a fight with, with Money Mayweather. It goes like this. Mayweather is not one to <laughs> knock you out in the first three rounds. He got him tired in the first four. He studied his freaking film knowing the motherfucker could not last past five rounds. That his training, he could not go the distance and just chill and then took his pop shot. And then what chilled. did he do, Cass? He dug in that ass. Oh, I, I, was, I thought you were going to go with your famous quote. What what did he do into submission, Cass? Uh, he poked <laughs> him into submission. <laughs> <laughs> How Loki loved him into submission. All right, he went bananas. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, man. Hey, hey. All right? The thing is, if you are a boxing expert. I'm sure they said that too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No mas. No mas. He was tapping out. Yeah. For, five, for four rounds, he allowed Conor McGregor to throw weak and non-hard-hitting hits at him. He allowed it. And then when that fifth round came on, that's when Mayweather came on and treated <laughs> Conor McGregor like it was LeBron James treating Boston Celtics. Oh. Just hey. hoping, hoping, <laughs> hoping, <laughs> eat, sleep, hope, repeat, uh. hope, repeat, <laughs> hope, repeat, <laughs> hope, repeat. All right, all right. We got it, Kev. We got it, Kev. Yeah, it sounded it. like a fucking pastor right we now. We got it, Kev, all right? The fact of the matter is, for anyone who, in their <laughs> livelihood, believed that amateur boxer could defeat a professional boxer, study that fight. That will teach you something. If you think that Money Mayweather is stupid because he can't quote unquote read or what have you, understand this. You know what he can do? He can count. He can count. Don't worry <laughs> if I write rhymes or write checks. All right. Hey, shout out the to Floyd. The fact is. If the man prepared himself that well for one person, don't count out his intelligence. I'm done. Move. Um, I went, I saw the fight at a fight party. No, uh, you, no, we all watched it together. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. We, we paid for it. So, uh, yeah, at this fight party, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I went in, uh, I was around a bunch of uh, people, uh, some rooting for Mayweather, some rooting for McGregor. Uh, once, about the, the end of the night round, people started leaving. <laughs> I won't, I'll let you guess what side they were on, all right? <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, I had a good time. I thought it was a good fight. Uh, Floyd, uh, did what he usually does the first few rounds, which is he's trying to learn the opponent's timing, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So he's just checking out your moves, you know what I mean? Like, watching your, uh, patterns and stuff like that. And then... He starts to apply the pressure. And the only reason that um, McGregor hit Floyd that many times was because Floyd was actually coming forward in that fight. Usually Floyd is defensive and falls back. But uh, this fight he was walking towards uh, Connor, punching him mainly because he knew Connor was like out of gas after like the fifth round. So, you know what I mean? I guess, you know. Ash, uh, you got any Hold opinions on? on? Kev has something oh, to say. Oh, Kev, go ahead. All right. Something that disturbed me a little bit, wanted to ask okay. real quick, on your point mm -hmm. of Mayweather being a little bit more aggressive, a little hungrier, mm -hmm. Conor McGregor said at the end that he made him a specific um, ethnic type, mm -hmm. if you recall. A Mexican. A Mexican, if you will. Do you, do you believe that? Well, really. I the, I think he was saying that because you know he was going forward, actually punching, punching, yeah, yeah. punching. Floyd, he got well. I don't know if he thinks he got Floyd out of his game plan, yeah. or if, you know, Floyd. But Floyd I, said he, you know, he took the last couple months off to you know rest his hands and you know make sure he's good, yeah. so he could actually come out and give people a show because right. a lot of people were disappointed in the Pacquiao. Fight. Right, exactly. But I'm gonna let Ash go because Ash has been waiting. <laughs> It was a good fight. All right, so maybe, maybe I should have <laughs> just, just continued. 
but, uh, one. <laughs> but uh, Floyd, Floyd did what he needed to do, man. Like everybody said, he studied kind of for the first couple rounds. He let kind of fucking punch himself fucking senseless yeah. and punch himself tired. And everybody was talking about, yeah, Connor's only been, you know, the, the farthest fight he's ever been is 25 minutes. Well, what do you know? Right after that 25 minute mark, <laughs> Connor McGregor was fucking winded yeah. and he was ready to go home, man. And Floyd, uh, Floyd was doing it to him, man. Boy, get that motherfucker brain damage. Yep. You know? That's what that's what good humping does to you, man. And as as Kev said before, all of you people right now talk about what a great job Connor did, all yeah. this, all that. These are the same motherfuckers talking about Connor McGregor, McGregor was going to knock him the fuck out in 10 seconds. Yeah. Fourth round. Fourth round. No, a lot of these people, because Con, they Connor thought. Said he he did, no, he him. didn't say. He said he could. Oh, okay. He said he could. It's a possibility. Okay. But you people saying that shit, you can't have it both ways. You can't you say Connor. The people who said that. No, no, you but uh, if, if, if you're predicting that he's going to knock him out and he fucking loses, you can't give me the, oh, yeah, he lasted 10, 10 rounds with the GOAT, with this, with that. Like, Floyd was obviously slowed up, man. Every, yeah. Everybody's seeing Floyd. He ain't the same Floyd he, he yeah. has been. He's obviously not. He's not even the same Floyd he was against Pacquiao, which wasn't the Floyd he was a few years even before then. Well, Floyd was slipping a little bit, man. This, He's getting this, older. This fight, absolutely, like I said, is a... Well, I'm not saying it was fixed. It was a work. It's a money grab. Yeah. That's why, you know, they made all the fucking money in the world. And, and I you know. think part of the reason for that was, uh, yeah, people complained that Floyd just runs around the ring the whole fight. Yeah. Which is actually being a good boxer. But um, people, isn't, isn't it your job to not get hit and to hit the other well, person more yeah. than they hit you? Yeah, but people are obsessed with the Hollywood version of boxing, which is a toe-to-toe slugfest until somebody falls. But is that true? Because if it wasn't, how come Floyd uh, pay-per-views revenate the most money? Oh, yeah, because people hate Floyd and want to <laughs> see him move, lose. Good. So isn't he doing his job? Isn't he being he the is. heel? He is, but I feel like he wanted to give them a show. Is why yeah, he walked, he walked kind of down the last few rounds or whatever. Usually he wouldn't have done that. He would have... Just kept yeah, going, kept out evading again. him and all that stuff, and until it was over. But he probably was like, "This is going to be my last fight. Let me give them a little bit more." You now, know let I mean? me ask you this: Is he retiring? Yes, I, allegedly. Well, he but says he's retiring. He I, has retired after the 49th week. Yeah, but for can, the right price, he'll come back. Possible, but can, let me ask you this: If he was fighting an above-average <laughs> boxer, do you think he would have his strategy oh, would have no. stuck to the all right? Hit you. You know, yeah, back away, like, block, block, yeah. block, tag, oh, block, yeah, block. Yeah, yeah. So you think he was just taking a, a, a advantage of McGregor's inexperience and lack of, you know, there's no offense, his lack of training of boxing. Yeah. So, I, I, think I think so, so too. I think it was like he wasn't worried about McGregor doing nothing to him. He was winded. His punches probably didn't even hurt no more. So he was just like, look. Fuck it. Like, what I got to lose? Let me just try to knock this motherfucker out. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think so, too, man. And, you know, I think if McGregor, like I said, was going against a good boxer of the same, you know, yeah, caliber yeah. of weight class, Floyd might have got beat, man. Possibly. Nah, no, no. Yeah, he no. might have. Yeah, I'm not saying he would, but he was slowed up a lot. He was slowed up a lot. That definitely wasn't I think that Floyd. Was by the sign, so I, it, it, it definitely could have been because I think he said he took the last month or so off from training yeah. to make sure he, you know, his hands were straight because he wanted to go for a knockout, which he did. You know, it's a TKO, Thank but it's a not. Well, listen, man, I, I'd rather not have yeah. brain damage and you know have brain yeah, well, damage. Well, that's true. So that's true. listen, th- there's been people uh, knocked out that didn't got brain damage, so. Yeah. Yeah. You ask me, I'd rather get knocked out and fall to the ground yeah. than I have brain damage. Yep. If you ask me. By the way, and that goes to a testament to people who are upset. Oh my God, they shouldn't have stopped the fight. It was early. Yeah. yeah. When yes, you watch Mayweather dig, dig, and dig in that ass like he was doing so yeah. with those hits. If y'all didn't get the fight stopped early, this man would be on a much, much longer yeah. uh, hold than he is right now. He'd be on that six months right now, man. If he's not already on that six months. Shit, that he might have been right six now, feet. Man. Yeah. But, um, like, the thing is, McGregor ain't throw a swing for, what, about a minute, minute yeah, and a half yeah. at that point, he too. Was he wasn't defending punches. himself. He was just taking punches, just trying to back up, trying to back up. People say, yeah, he was buying time. He was buying time. Nah. But he didn't even have his fucking hands up right, to defend right. himself. So, That's why they made, they stopped the fight. So, so they're ready to tell me that he was running from, from him. Listen, he man. Was, he was running. 
Listen, from him. man. Listen, he was. Thank you. He was. But I'm not saying, you know, poo poo on him or whatever. He he just got beat by <laughs> TBE. The, the best ever. And, you know. Don't you I, ever forget it. Like, you know, an amateur boxer getting beat by the best boxer ever, to whatever extent you want to call him, there's, there's, there's no shame in that. But if you are one of these people talking about McGregor was going to beat him or knock him out or embarrass him, you have no right to say anything about that because since you picked the man to lose, do not give him no fucking cookies, right. no, part- no participation trophies for, you know, him lasting fucking, what, nine and a half rounds yeah. with, with Floyd, man. I don't want to hear that shit. I want to say shout out to Kiefer hey, man. for uh, Kiefer. being the G. He accepted our our little wager. His picture is Floyd. You know what I mean. Which so um, I, yeah. he uh, he showed his respect. To you, you know what I mean. <laughs> so shout out to Kiefer. Ring? You know what I mean. You know what it is. TBE, the oh. best ever. So y'all y'all squash now since he did that, man. You earn that respect. Right. And on that note, <laughs> we're going to go to our uh, television segment. No, I thought we were doing a oh, no? carry trade. No. Okay, okay. Yeah, we can do that. So uh, we'll go to Speaking basketball from here. Hey, Celtics. Uh, yeah. When Irish so, eyes are uh, smiling, they go from crying to smiling. Apparently, uh, the Cavs and Celtics trade is done. It's uh, completed and it's, it's official. So, um... Let's get uh, John and uh, Kev's opinion on it. I really don't give a fuck about it. I really don't either. You should. Sure? You know what I mean? But, uh, um, fuck Boston. Uh, are you going to continue with that? Because I know you're going to say something after that. Pack the cow. There we go. There you go. All right. Uh, Suck this, my cat. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that gets back to what I was saying earlier in <laughs> the conversation. <laughs> what uh, John brought up. And here we are now. Which is this. <laughs> Uh, Gordon Hayward, Gordon Ramsay, the Gordon's fisherman. No matter any which way, LeBron helping him in the submission. Oh, oh. And then the Celtics gonna beat uh, the fucking Celtics. The Warriors are gonna beat them in three, man. Exactly. Regardless, whatever happens, Warriors three. Exactly. Okay. Is people. You don't think they got competition with Minnesota? No, they don't. Minnesota's too young. Okay. Minnesota's too young, and the Warriors are good. They're yeah. a great. Teams. Hashtag Warriors in three. Houston, come on, man. Chris the Warriors would have fucking swept the goddamn yo, Rockets. Yo, you know how many times that uh, Curry Steph has Curry. waxed? Well, Speaking Paul. of humping people in the submission, every time Chris Paul goes against a fucking good uh, point guard, they hump him in the submission, man. They put him back in his place. Yeah, that's what they do. They they point down and say, you know, is the is the royal penis ready, your highness? Exactly. <laughs> King shit. But yeah, the fact of the matter is, is that um, I like the Timberwolves. I like their acquisitions. I like the fact that they put together. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Tom Thibodeau to basically run them all on the ground and then oh, you know boy. all oh, time like you know no one back. Okay, well, Ooh. all right. Let's get back to the trade. All right. So, do you think that? Like, looking at what the Cavs, they got an extra second-round pick out of this. Mm-hmm. Do you think that they won this trade, or do you think the Celtics won this trade? I think, the, think? I think the Cavs won in the long run, but the, so. the Celtics won it right now. Okay. Yeah. The thing um, is, you got the best You got the best player, so you win the, you win the trade immediately. Okay. Um, They knew that um, IT was injured, yeah. and now it's possible that that man might not return to the All-Star break. Right, right. <laughs> That's a long ass time in yeah. basketball. That, that's from October to February. They have LeBron, but okay, October well. to February, no it. The thing is, is that Kyrie's playing when the season starts. Yeah. Kyrie is playing. It is not playing for another. He so, might. He yeah. might be ready before. Four, impossible four months. Okay. It's that. Still got LeBron, still got Kevin Love. And, and LeBron, no, I forgot, LeBron's LeBron. So, you know. still got, you still got Dream Team Derrick Rose. Because, you know, he thought the Knicks were a super team last year. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, <laughs> but the fact is, is that, I mean, yeah, maybe Derrick Rose steps up. Who knows? Hey, I, I, I hope he resumes his career in a good way. Real, real quick, uh, I saw something where Derrick Rose said that um, he doesn't care about playing anymore. The only reason he's really playing <laughs> Is because of his son. So, uh, like, what do you think about him saying that? Like, what do you think he, he's... Um, I would not want to be his teammate. 
if that's yeah, the that's case. what I was saying. What do you, you don't think he's gonna contribute? No, nah, he could. I'm just saying if if somebody says care, something like right? that, I wouldn't want to be his teammate. Okay. <laughs> So you know, his son is a drama, by is, the way. This is his, his son. son is a drama. And it's your exact feeling, just like how his son is looking. Like nigga, what? Nigga, yeah. what you say? Like, hey, Poppy, yeah, come on, come man. On. So, do you <laughs> think that Derrick Rose is just saying that because I didn't he knows he's washed? Probably. Or, he was fine last year. He wasn't great, but he was fine. He was serviceable, okay. but it wasn't like he was. He was like a great, great, great player. I mean, he was well, a serviceable player, man. Who is going to be great on the Knicks, though, to be honest? I mean, well, nobody's going to be great on the Knicks because the Knicks are a terrible organization, yeah, a terrible I'm franchise. I'm telling you, they let Melo with a hoodie, though. Ho- ho- hoodie Melo? Hoodie Melo. Yeah, hoodie Melo averaged 35 a game, man. wearing that, yeah. I know. Hoodie Melo is the GOAT, man. Yeah, hoodie yeah, hoodie Melo better than Jordan. Uh, getting it on the second <laughs> jersey <laughs> with the hoodie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actual hoodie. Fucking uh, hoodie Melo the GOAT. So what do you think? What do you think the Celtics or the and the Cavs are going to end up at the end of this season? I think the Cavs are probably going to be the number one seed. The Celtics are going to be number two, if that's what you're asking. Okay. And they're going to be in the conference finals, and the Cavs are going to beat them in six games. Okay. I think that the Celtics are going to be the number one seed, that the Cavs are going to be the number two, possibly number three, but most likely number two seed. No way Just because of the fucking fact that actually he's not going to be playing at the beginning of the year, Kyrie's going to be playing for the Cat, the Celtics. Who do you think is going to be number two? The Raptors? Um, what's this? Raptors? Wizards? Well, Wizards. Wizards. Yeah, sure. But I oh, think the Cavs will most, most likely be number two. It, will it matter? No, because again, <laughs> this last past season, you saw the Celtics were the number one seed in the Eastern Conference, and you saw that the Cavaliers were the number two seed. They had a very close series, albeit a sweep, but a close series with the Pacers at first. They humped the Raptors in the submission, then they humped the Celtics in the submission. And yeah, the Celtics won one game, they were humped in the submission. They were tapping out after like freaking game three. Say they weren't. They won. When well, they won game three, right? Foot. They would. They did win game three. Yes. They won game three. Yes. Yeah. They were blowing them out, I, and then the Cavs came back. I T got hurt. One. And then, yeah. Yeah. I T got hurt, and then and miraculously. Then they won, yeah. The yeah. Celtics got better because they were. If you recall, the Celtics were blown out in Game Four as well, but yeah. Kyrie bailed the the Cavs out yeah. and won them that game. And um, then Game Five, LeBron. Yeah, and and then uh, the people in Cleveland were saying, "Hey, hey Poppy." Okay. Yeah. Right. You know. Well, and, well I think uh, the was that to uh, Curry <laughs> when he came in. Hey, well, huh? All right. I'm uh, saying that series, Kevin Durant was humping them in the submission. Over. Okay. You yeah. right. the, the a little mixture, right? Well. What's up? You a little mixture of Kevin and uh, Steph, right? The yeah. thing is, is that um, LeBron and Kyrie, Steve Kerr's plan was masterful. Oh, yeah. We'll let your best players score 70 to 80 points together. All the mom motherfuckers are going to do shit to us. Nope. Let them niggas well, score I think Kevin team. Love had a really underrated finals. He had an underrated finals, but honestly, it was kind of not to the level of which Kyrie and LeBron were performing. Kyrie and LeBron were performing astronomically. But, awesome. But the fact of the matter is, is that sometimes you let, that's, that's, sometimes you let your best players, let them score. They're going to get tired. Right. They got tired. Right. The Warriors are a team. Yeah. It's not just, mm-hmm. the thing is, is, oh my God, they're a super, no, they're a team. Oh, shit. They're the best team in basketball. Durant might get hurt. Curry might oh. get hurt. Somebody might get hurt. They still have somebody waiting in the wings to step up and do what they got to do. LeBron and them? We'll see what goes on. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, well, all right, on that Speaking note, let's, uh, let's get to our... Um, Television series, uh, The Defenders. Yes, sir. We are on episode three of The Defenders. All three of them. And uh, yeah, it definitely turned up this episode. Three, three. So, uh, Kev, all right, you, uh, walk us through. Uh, so this is the episode where everybody comes together. Right. The first scene opens where what's that? Oh, ain't nothing positive about that. I right? asked Jessica Jones. Ask about Luke Cage's penis. Hey, hey, man. There was hey. no coming this episode. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. In any case, uh, Jessica Jones linked up with Daredevil. 
Luke Cage, through the help of Claire Temple, played by Rosario Dawson, linked up with Iron Fist, a.k.a. Bitch Fist, a.k.a. Pussy, a.k.a. Snap Your Favorite DJ, wherever you want to include in that. Um, we were introduced to Elektra. Elektra is the mysterious sword, uh, sword fighter that you've seen in the first episode that was given Iron Fist that work until he got his golden hand of sperm and punched the shit out of her. Oh, sperm. And... Basically, this episode showed a lot of the stories intertwining. White Hat, with regards to those uh, kids that he was picking up, including that young boy. Um, the oh, yeah, the my man got killed. Exactly. The young boy yeah. got killed. Yeah. Jail, he did get killed. Which yeah, was depressing. The one thing he said was, I knew when she picked up the phone. Yeah. I knew, man. Yeah. I knew. Yeah. The saddest thing of that episode was that young man telling him he to killed. buy his mom lotto tickets yeah. because it's yes. the best thing to give my mom hope. And that was heartbreaking. I was like, yo, that motherfucker's not going to make it. And sure enough, he did die, which brought Luke Cage into this a little bit further. Um, unfortunately, he does better. Uh, Iron Fist was again put in his place. This time it was by Luke Cage, uh, discussing the fact that you have all these riches, you can solve all these problems, and never have to raise your hand at all. You were privileged from birth, is what he said, which was beautiful to hear. Yeah, um, that's true. Absolutely. Uh, Daredevil, uh, his antics got the eye of Jessica Jones, who took pictures of him. He unfortunately uh, destroyed her camera. Didn't yeah. want anybody know that he was Daredevil. He's trying to leave that life behind. Right. However, their stories are also intertwining as well, too. Um, the architect, as you know, um, he went over to the house to discuss a little bit more about the plans, a little bit more about the death of that architect as well. Uh, Daredevil's intrigued by that as well, too. They got into a major fight scene where um, Iron Fist actually held his own. I was, you know, held his own for about six minutes, and then yeah, it was like six minutes. Then, then he got a little dipped on, which is understandable. You get dipped on, you can't really hold your own. But then magically you develop your your chief fist after a couple seconds because Luke Cage is there to bail you out. That's what Luke Cage does: punch people, take bullets, whoop ass, fuck, and leave. Simple as that. Now, my question to you is this. What was your favorite scene this week of The Defenders? My favorite scene yeah. was definitely um, the fight scene at the end. Would that be your takeover? Yeah, that was that was like, I was like, I wanted to go to episode four, but I'm going to chill. Because I was like, yo, I, like, I was uh, yeah, into I wanted it. To, I, I was into it, it yeah. after that. I would have reckoned, honestly, the second y'all can... Go directly into um, episode four. Well, I will, I'm but going to I'm, going, I'm going to wait. I, I try to wait until Thursday or Friday, so yeah. it's still fresh in my mind. Yeah. Or I'm going to have to watch it again. Because the first week I watched it on, like, Tuesday, and I had to watch it again just to make sure I remembered everything. Yeah. But, sis, what was your favorite scene? Um, my favorite scene... Hmm. It's probably the lecture becoming, like herself the warrior that she was becoming. She is a fucking beast. She is. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that thoroughly when they were I don't know if you want to call like, it training her. Yeah, when they were when testing they were, her. Yes. When yeah, they were yeah, testing yeah. her. And when my man cut his fucking hand off, yo. Because yeah. that motherfucker is a G. He is a G. Now, how long did it take y'all to realize that he cut his hand off? Bro? I noticed it immediately. I didn't. Like I didn't. Um, I was here watching it with Danielle before Shout she to Danielle. Uh, passed Shout out. out. Big. And, uh, Wake her up, man. After the segment. Did the, he did the slice, but his hand was still like on his body. It looked that like. That just went, man. Man. But um, she was like, ooh, and I was like, what? He just cut the thing off. But then uh, he ran away, and I saw that thing Boss. sitting there like uh, sitting there like my man thing from the Adams. Hey, yo, hey, yo. I know what you're talking about, but hey, yo. Hey, yo. You're not I know what you're talking about. about. Your babe just being All right, there. my bad, my bad, my yeah, bad. Man, yeah, thing was sitting bad. there. Yeah, pause. My bad. Now, one thing I will say about the training sequence is I did not like one moment of that training sequence. The portion where the lights went out. Because I wanted to see how she fucked oh, all okay. of those people. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. And she actually had no weapon and ended up with two exactly. swords. Yeah, I'm exactly. curious to see how that happened. But shout out to Sigourney Weaver for putting in more work in that time in Iron Fist. Um, he is killing it. Now um, we're being an old ass lady. Yeah, she she, she was a, uh, fucking Electra. Uh, now, that first scene. Do y'all understand the significance of what transpired in that situation? What you mean? Now, Electra was brought back from the dead. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. That's actually very, 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 very important. Because it is something that has been mentioned a few times on a low-key kick. And it's very, very integral towards the plot. To know that Electra was brought back and how she was brought back. Yeah, somebody said something about they were bringing people back. They, are, they had their power because they bring people back exactly. from the dead. Exactly. Now, with regards to a lot of things that are going on as of late, the hand, which is what... Iron Fist and Luke Cage will talk about bringing people back from the dead. A lot of comments being made about living and things of that nature. No, really. It's a, exactly. The hand mentioning that very often and very subtly throughout the series so far. So, you had an idea about the goal. No, no, no. I was going to say, um, uh, Sigourney Weaver did tell Iron Fist, he said, I'm not going to kill you this time. Very good. You're starting to pay attention to the little oh things that she says. I'm like, what? I thought it was another Iron Fist. Um, that is something to recall. I and mean, that's something to hold on. Okay, over. all right, all right. So I'll very leave good. Home. I just want to throw those little things out. Okay. Little Michael Greenberg teaser for everybody. Okay. I was thoroughly enjoyed. All right. The oh. fact is, is that I'm glad that, you know, got you know, got y'all interested, got y'all hyped up. Yeah. Um, awesome. Episode four. I hope y'all can uh, look towards that. I um, should, to... should entertain y'all. Um... Last thing, fighting with the scarf around your eyes. G yo, shit or not G shit? G shit. Well, yeah. it's definitely G shit when you're blind. Shout out to Ninja Turtles, yeah. Shout out to Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the fucked up thing is, like, during the, when they were training Electra, when she was fighting them dudes, I thought those dudes looked like the villains from Ninja Turtles. The foot soldiers! Yeah, yes. they look like the foot soldiers. For Just sure. a bit. Now, also, if you notice, um, weapons that Electra looks at. One of the records happened to be size. Yes. The little three jump Raphael used to use them. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is Electra's preferred method mm -hmm. of fighting. Yeah, I yeah. I know she had them. Exactly. I didn't know she had them there, but when, I know that's what she used. When she walked past the weapon rack, she actually stopped for a second and stared at them. I didn't and notice that. Little things about the show, just to pay attention to mm -hmm. something that I pay attention. Again, okay. I'm not... Anything well, yeah, I know she. Yeah, I know she know uses more about those. It though. Than we do. You know I know she mean? uses those. Though. I know that's. I would highly prefer. recommend you guys watching the series that are before. Yeah, I, I watched them after I watched this. I'm gonna recommend Luke Cage because Luke Cage. Luke Cage is, Cage is well, I'm definitely gonna watch Luke Cage for sure. I, I'll Jessica probably watch Daredevil really too. Well. Yeah. I may watch Jessica Jones, Jones, but I'm not Jessica watching Jones. Iron Fist is. I'm not watching Iron Fist. Don't watch Iron Fist, Fist because I, I'd rather honestly have a root canal to watch Iron Fist. But I'm definitely you watching Luke Cage and probably Daredevil. Iron Fist. Well, I don't. I don't care about the hand. Yeah, look, man. The only <laughs> thing about the hand that you learned about in the Iron Fist is about Madame Gao. Madame Gao oh, is yeah. the shit. No, Madame Gao. Where was she that episode? Madam Gal was not in that episode. Yeah, I, yeah, I was just asking. But All it's right. just something to note that. I was mainly Madam... Sigourney Reliever and. She's just her henchwoman. As you already know, Madam Gal's taking orders from Sigourney Weaver, so. Oh, we didn't see her this episode. You did not. You did not see Madam Gal this episode. Will you see Madam Gal later on? Who knows? We'll find I'm not out her next episode of Dragon Ball. But I think that we should go forward towards our next break. Uh, coming up are uh, MOOCs, Facebook questions. And uh, more spooky questions. Yeah, we about to talk about some ignorant shit. But, uh, yeah. Well, uh, well, we'll be back. Yeah. Luke has been on point. Yeah. They hey, called Luke that here. One. They called that one. Not bad. All right. Um, and it's time to get into Facebook questions. All right. So, uh. I'm your uh, host, well, I'm your host, period, but I'm your host for this segment as well. Mitsubishi Moot. So, uh, the first question I'm going to ask you is... How are you looking at me, man? Because you're right here. You're right. Let's look at that. Name, a, <laughs> <laughs> name a reason why black-owned businesses fail. Because black people don't support other black people. Absolutely agree. 100%. That's your reason? That's one of the reasons. I'm not going to go all the way there, but I'm just saying because, especially, like, even with your friends, your friends will look for a discount on yeah. your own shit yeah. when they're not looking for discounts from the average store. Okay. So, I, that, I think that's got a lot to do with it. We'll literally pay out, like, damn near double the cost 
for some shit at the popular store, then we would pay out after for regards to a black owned store. And we'll talk so much shit about the black owned store's prices when I realized that the actual pop store itself is looking up to fuck off. Uh, I, don't, I don't know about that. I think a retail store will pay for more of their. I don't know about a poppy store, per, per se. Um, I will. Down the block from me is a store. It was owned by a black owner. He was a boxer who bought the store, and unfortunately, it folded because nobody shopped there because of the prices itself. The store was picked up by, and if the store became a poppy store, literally right afterwards, had the same identical prices. Same shit in there. People frequented that store more often. That store is still lasting to this day. Oh, fair enough. That we don't. We get so angry about the prices, and some people think it is so high, but we're still willing to pay those high prices for the people that are not black. And I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I think a lot. Of, yeah, like a lot of times we're just looking for the hookup. Oh yeah, you know, you my man. We both black. Blah blah blah. I think yeah. that's what that's got a lot to do with. How about you? That is supporting. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Instead of supporting what? We're look, uh, always looking for handouts because we're one. I'm not okay. going to go the whole handout route. I just think the hookup. Well, like hookup slash handout. Same shit. Nah, that's different. I'll say <laughs> that, um, like, on the other side of things, sometimes black businesses do uh, shoddy work, I'll say. They try to cut corners, I'll say. I, I would say, to uh, try I would to, say I'm, I'm not saying, I'm just saying some black businesses. Yeah, some of them do. Like, um, all right, I work at a, um, a, a contractor's, uh, like a distributor for a contractors. And, like, some of these guys, they'll go into, like, the hood or whatever, and they'll be like, yeah, this dude used like this amount and charge this person double for using something that he should have charged you know what I mean so I think that's the thing people you know accuse black businesses of is not having um not trying to cut corners that other people would wouldn't you know what I'm saying so are you saying it's like a trust type of thing yeah, partially. Partially. I agree with y'all, but I'm also saying that sometimes mm-hmm. some black businesses yeah. do try to get more for less. You know what I mean? You don't think that's I, like I would all say that would have to do a lot of Yeah, that is, but I'm but we talk about just black businesses right now. I think yeah. everybody, like the whole contractor, like Anybody that's doing your fucking HVAC work and all that shit, like their goal is to, oh, and uh, their goal is to get as much out of you for doing as the little work, work as possible. Mm-hmm. Well, you know to be I mean? honest, that's that's the that's the American way. That's the American way, exactly. yeah, American way man. Like I got, I got this one contractor guy. He did this job for his sister-in-law. He was putting in the AC at her crib. He said, do not drop off the receipt so she don't see how much I actually paid for this because he was going to finesse her. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? Like, there's just a thing with these HBAC people. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just, like you said, it's an American way. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? I think some people attribute that to black businesses when it's really everybody. It is. And you know what I mean? To be honest, I would say the majority of businesses that make money, they do so by cutting corners. Yeah. By cutting costs in certain areas or whatever. You know, that's that's just kind of how it's done. That's where Donald Trump comes in, dog. Well, Mm -hmm. I don't know how much money he has on himself, but, you know. All right. Uh, Next question. What is the worst relationship advice you've ever received? The worst relationship advice you ever received. You talk to this person about your situation and they just told you some bullshit. Anybody? You ain't in a relationship in this state. Is that advice? That was advice. 
I went to somebody, not mentioning who, in a relationship. Oh, okay. And they said okay. if we were in a whole different state, okay. and that temptation was there, and he said, and I quote, different relationship, different state, no relationship. Okay. Uh, John? Um, hold on a second. Uh, it, it goes Ash first, but... Okay, well, Ash? We're going that circle. I'm trying to think. I've had a lot of interesting advice, but I don't talk about my relationships too often. It's not about relationships, it's about the advice. I know. Yeah, just bad advice you got. I don't take advice. You never, like, talk to anybody about your relationship and try to get... Yes, but not try to get clarity. I just talk to them just to vent. To be honest, man... I don't take I don't take a lot of people's advice when it comes to anything in life. Period. I because I'm going to do them going yeah. to do anyway. Yeah, that's no, that's like most people, but some people still I think some I people want validation for what they go and do. Let me tell you, tell me what 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 should I do in this situation? That's not what I do. Um, let's see. Worst relationship advice I probably ever received. I'm feeling this beat, you know. This one of my favorite Jay Z songs. It was probably. I don't know. I wish I didn't have the hook on it. Move in with him. Uh, uh, Ah. Alright. Alright, um, I guess, uh, try everything you can to make it work. Go above and beyond. And, you know, most times that doesn't work. Oh, my word. I think if you think that person is worth it, I think you should. I agree with that. But a lot of times you kind of don't, but you kind of talk yourself into it. Yeah. Because you didn't put so much time and effort in. Yeah. Sometimes your heart is just blind enough to believe that the person's worth it when the fact that really Yeah, that's true. Also true. That's true. Mook. And um, on the opposite end of what John said, um, the worst advice I ever got was... Fuck that bitch. Well, because that is the hood. Fucking, if you ask a hood nigga, yo, you tell him, yo, I'm going to, man, fuck that bitch, man. Amen. That's all they ever say, but like, like, all right, I had this situation with uh, Frank. He was on here, and he had broke up with his girl and shit, and um, he was like, he was telling me about it, and I was like, yo, like, do you think she worth it? And he was like, yeah, and I was like, well, go. Go get her then. And he was like, yo, like, that's the realest thing somebody ever said. Everybody else I talked to just was like, fuck that bitch. And, like, I wasn't really feeling that way, but I was just going with it because that's what everybody was saying. I'm mm-hmm. like, motherfucker, don't be understanding. Saying, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, if she worth it, then do yeah. your thing. Like, I, I agree with that. Yeah, if so. You, if you actually believe so. I but think if you think you had a life. dead end and you just kind of try to. Yeah. Do whatever just to keep things afloat. It's probably not gonna. Yeah, work but out. like just most hood niggas gonna tell. You. Even though they yeah. in that situation, they, they might not be like that. Mm, I agree. But they'll just be like, man, fuck that bitch, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What's we doing? Like, so that's next the worst. question. All right, next question. One gotta go. Fresh Prince, Martin, Sanford and Son, or Good Times. Good times. Good times. Not even, yeah. not even, not even a compliment. Oh, yeah, I agree with y'all. I good agree times. with y'all. Like, good times is fine or whatever. It's but cool. Nah. Good times of the, the four that got it, y'all. Fuck, yeah. No, of the four that got it, y'all. Niggas, they never won. They did win at the end. They actually did win. I don't win. even know if I saw the end you know of why? good times. Because James was dead and you stopped caring about that shit. No, I watched it after James died, yeah. The buffoonery of JJ, man. But guess what? Well, that, no, that's why James died. But, all right. Oh. Yeah, all right. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Next one. One gotta go. TLC. Total. Xscape. Or SWV. SWV because nobody gives a shit about them now. Nobody gave a shit about them then, man. Total. total. Like, what is Total doing now? What is Total? Total has some hits back in the day. Come on. That, well, so they what all did. They all did. Now. What is SWB doing now? I'm going with Escape. Had a show like two years ago. Escape at least is doing something. I'm 
I'm going with escape, yeah. I'm going with escape. I like get tired of doing things with their life. Yeah, yeah, yeah but shit. I like less of escape songs than. I, I hated that. Who can I run to? Nigga, I hated that. that. Keep on, keep, keep on with MC Light was at work, yo. All right, but you got Total. Total got fucking. Can't you see? Kissing you. Uh, What's the fucking bees? You got me, you got me tripping. Oh, tripping was my shit. That was Come on, yo. You can't front on Toto, yo. I did front on Toto. I was in SWV. I was, I, SWV had uh, in Rain. D. They had, I ain't like Weekend and Knees. They had Weekend and Knees. And that's it. They had You're the One. Oh, You're the One. I don't know that song, nigga. They had that huge... That's how you be some shit. I didn't. I, I said Tonal. You say Tonal? Yeah. I'm picking Escape, yo. I'm Fuck that. TV. All right. Next oh. one. Mm. One album got to go. I think oh, I know what God. y'all going to pick. There we go. It's only three. Purple Rain, Thriller, or uh, 12 Play. What's the what? What's 12, the last one? 12 Play. 12 play. 12 play. 12 play. It's not even 12 I play. Good. Are you saying that because of a bad album or because of it's R. Kelly? Because fucking Thriller and Purple Rain are two Purple of the Rain greatest Rain? albums of all time. Nigga, I'm not a Prince fan. Purple Rain. Rain. I was made on fucking Purple Rain. I'm not a Prince fan, so wow. I, honestly, Purple Rain got to go for me. Wow. Well, I'm not. A, I never was really into Prince, yeah. That's I fun. never was, yeah. That's fine. I never what was. the that's fuck fine. is wrong with you? No, that's fine. Was, that's man. fine. That's fine. Next question. I can't listen to you about music no more, man. Have you oh, ever man. truly loved oh. the wrong person? Did you? Hold on. Uh, did Did you marry them? <laughs> no. I don't know. Did anybody? Have you ever loved anybody? Yeah. Did you marry them? Are you together? No. So they were the wrong person, right? No, because what if you did something to fuck that up? That means you ain't love enough, right? Not necessarily. If you, you fucked it up, love. you can no. make a mistake or something. Here's if you question. if you are truly in love with them... No, I, don't, I ain't agree with that. Go ahead, guys. That's because you a fucking nigga. No. The problem of this, though, is that when you're in love with somebody and you're truly in love with somebody and you've been hurt and you're not in the best stage of mind, you do things to fuck shit up. I've been in love, like, with someone and I completely and totally fucked up the relationship. And I fucked up the relationship not because the person itself was bad or the relationship itself was bad, but because I was too hurt and misguided to understand what I had in front of me and because of which I lost a relatively phenomenal human being all for something that I did stupidly. So, to be honest with you, can you love the wrong person? Absolutely, because I have loved the wrong person in my lifetime. I've also loved a lot of good people, too, but I've fucked up a lot of times. Yeah. So it is what it is. Uh, so that means you can, right? But that don't mean they were the wrong person because it didn't work well, out. Well, I'm just saying, how many people you loved before? Not that many. All right, so how many, how many of those people that you loved would you consider marrying? I would have to go through it. And, All right, so that love. so that means you have loved someone that wasn't the right person for you. I think that's pretty Ash, simple. Go ahead. I love somebody who was not the right person. Yeah, we all have. Okay. All right. All right. I, I, I just I, think. Sometimes when you are just you can't handle it and you're too you're emotionally immature to fucking work with it. Um, you can sabotage a relationship, man. And yeah. I, nothing yeah. fucks you up worse than to sit back and realize, yo, I had a re- very great person, and I really fucked this shit up, yo. Okay. It eats at you. All right, next question. How many states have you oh, had Lord sex Jesus in? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Boy. Get ratchet. Jack? Hmm. Three? 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 You need that yeah. soundboard. Five. Jesus Four, five. fucking Christ, there. Yeah, yeah, three. Florida, Maryland, <laughs> oh, Delaware, yeah. New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania, six. Move. Three. Next question. That's because you don't go nowhere. Yep. That's right. Now I'm affiliated. Oh, I'm sorry. South Carolina, seven. 
Wait, yeah, I think I might be sick. All right, next question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why well, yeah. she and oh, her shit. fucking? Uh, Why well, she and her holodex? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> next question. <laughs> oh, chill, oh, yeah, chill, yeah. I regret nothing. Your mother was there. Uh, it, it, uh, so, all right, yo, chill, I regret yo. nothing. All right, so um, turn that down, yo. My fault, yo. <laughs> you just turned it up. <laughs> No, I turned it down. I just saw you. Well, I'm talking about before then. Okay. Matter of fact, I'll skip that. Okay. Your ex who cheated on you two years ago knocks on your door and tells you that them and their child have nowhere to go. What do you do or say? Listen, man. Your ex cheated on you <laughs> two years ago. Four knocks words. on your door with their child and says, we have no place to stay. I'm, what I'm, are you doing, Ash? I'm, okay. You going to let Ash go okay, first? No, yes, no. let's let Ash go. Because Ash looks like she, uh... I, I, I can't. She, she, no? Nah, it's nah, a no? Nah. Listen, you ain't the only ex, man. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, what if you the last one? I ain't the. I got. Obviously, well, where, that don't where, need an ex, but. Where is your baby mama? Exactly. Hey, where? Well, they better find her. She better. You, you a grown ass man. You should be able to take care of yourself and your fucking child. And if not, then you need to drop off your child to its mother and figure out something for yourself. She, she better call Tyrone, man. Hashtag. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, simply tell her, you know, the greatest four words of all time. Oh, Lord. Uh, your Uber's way. Your Uber's way. Hey, at least to you where? pay for it. I'll pay for an Uber. To should... where? What's that? To where? To not here. To, to elsewhere. To who knows. Um, One of... Oh, my God. Oh my God. On the pursuit of happiness, guys. Yeah, man. We're going to be on that shit. You're going to be inside the fucking subway, fucking bathroom. Y'all hold the door closed. Niggas about to bust in, but shit. Damn, yeah. Nigga, you don't cheat on me and expect me to open up my door to you. You better go on. I actually have a similar uh, question I'm asking later. I'll let her in. I'll let her in. Ah, fucked up. How How long would you let him stay? Probably till Walker came. You gotta go. I so for a week? Possibly, yeah. Sure enough. Possibly, yeah. Okay. Get yourself another So place. would you hope, like, she's looking for places in that meantime? I would tell her. So, what if, so what if Locke is there that day? You would just say, nah? Yeah, nah. Nah. But, like, you don't got, like, money for a fifty nine ninety nine hotel, or... They, well, I mean, like... I, I would hope they do. If they stranded outside. Because if you, you can't buy a hotel room, that means you probably don't have no money for down payment. Well, the thing about it is they like could have just spent a lot of money before or something. They could have just, like, got kicked out of their house yeah. that night and not had their fucking life. Like, say the person that they're with now, like, the dude's beating them up or whatever. Like, if she just told me something like that, you can stay tonight and we can figure whatever out in the morning. But, you know, this ain't gonna be no long-term thing, especially if we're not together. Like, it, you know, that's got not just everything to do with the oh, fact yeah. that you're cheating on me, but, like, the fact that we're not together. Um, well, like, if I'm yeah, if I'm single, for sure. Not, if I'm single, whatever, you could stay for that night. But if I got somebody, that's probably not going to If I got somebody, yeah, he's staying the fuck over, man. Yeah, because that's, you know. If I got nobody, you could chill for maybe, you know, a day or two, get yourself Yeah, get order. just, like, depending on whatever the situation is. Yeah, but not just, just, can I crash? Yeah, if you just, like, some, some bartender person I know is out there on the book asking people for a fucking couch to sleep on and shit, man, we ain't gonna be Yeah, yeah, bartender? I did not know. That. I didn't know he had any sort of job. But uh, move. holy shit, yo! That yeah, I said I would let him. Oh. How long you said? You said about so I can. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. What am I asking? Last question. All right. Should spouses help their significant other pay child support? If we're no. married, that's like kind of our bill. No. I don't 
Well, go ahead. Finish. It's not your money. Finish. It's your money. And my money is my money. That's not how it is in America. Finish, Cap. It should be, at least. Finish, um, Like many others, um, the thing is, is that with child support, it comes out of your check on the back, and it garnish your shit, so that money gone before, like... Yeah, well, it, if you don't have a job, it don't come out of your check. You gotta pay that. No, I wouldn't be able to because that's not her responsibility. Her responsibility is our children will say, or like, you know, if that child was hanging out and we were feeding the child there, that's it. But no, if my child lived with, um, if my children or whomever lived with my ex or whomever, and I'm paying child support for them, that's my money to pay child support. I'm their father. She's not. I, I would feel some kind of way about that shit. So if she volunteered? I couldn't take it, man. Like, I, it's just something about that that just irks the absolute hell out of me. It's just weird. I, I don't know. It's something weird about me. Yeah. So, like, uh, whatever. What do you think, man? Um, if, if the person, you know, knows your child and has some sort of... Um, relationship with the child I can understand if they need to like I think I think it's kind of one of the things like uh, we talked about with other things I think it's a good gesture but I don't think they should have to no yeah like application okay. uh, like I would it'd be say, uh, oh good nah I was looking at the turtle but okay. uh, I think it's a good gesture but I don't think the answer I thought his uh never mind I'm not even gonna say that uh say what you gotta say move I would say uh if you don't want uh your significant to, to go, go to jail, jail yeah. You, that, you that's, that's kind of what I was going to ask yeah, Kev. Because uh, if he don't pay that, uh, he going to jail if it's backed up that far. So, yeah, I think... Well, uh, hopefully but it also, wouldn't be backed up that far because... If it it is, shouldn't be. If you, well, I say you should help him if it's if it is backed up, period. I well, think. that's kind of what Ash was saying. If you're, like, married, it's, it, you know, it's his yeah. bills are y'all bills. Yeah. Her bills is y'all bills. And especially if the child's coming around or whatever, like if you have whatever sort of joint custody or visitation rights or whatever, yeah. she's a part of, you know, the child's life as well, so. Okay. You know. At least, uh, the I thing is. my boyfriend of like one month. Yeah, also that. Oh, yeah, well, that's different. But at least, you know, hope not necessarily even a monetary thing that they have some sort of relationship where like maybe they're, if, the, if your child is a girl and she's a girl, like maybe they can go shopping or whatever together. They can get their hair done, their nails done, or whatever together. To whatever extent, that's support. You know what I mean? It might not just be the monetary thing, but it's just the little things that uh you know make their relationship stronger. That's just my opinion. Because you should want that relationship. Yeah, I think uh, they should want that. All right, that's it for my questions, John. Oh my gosh. I, I left it alone. I didn't ask them all because Jerry. I think that was logical. You're 24 minutes in, so good job for that. All right, Jerry. Shout out. Shout out to Mook, man. Shout out to Maserati Mook. Mitsubishi Mook. Datsun Mook. Maserati. Purple Car Mook. Fuck you. All right, you and your significant other are walking down the street. Y'all walk past a person of the opposite sex, um, you know, to, to your significant other. Same, no, 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 the same sex to your significant other. And they give them, well, they give you the look, you know. Your significant other has some things to say to them, and the person wants to fight your significant other. Do you let them fight? Wait a second. You're, like, say your boyfriend and, at, well, so ask your boyfriend. Dude gave my boyfriend. No, yeah, gave you, you the look. look. Oh, some dude trying to check you out, and your boyfriend say something back. Mm-hmm. Do you let your boyfriend fight him? No, because I'm with you. All right, Kev. I let them two fight while fucking eat the popcorn and possibly rubbing my nipples. Wow, Mook. Okay. So what if she start? Oh, never mind. Go ahead, Mook. If I don't she, know. If I'm she not girl ass, yo, she's never going to if she be my girl, <laughs> gonna be like, all right, well, you didn't do yeah, it. <laughs> Kev's going to leave with the girl that beat his girl last year. <laughs> because, <laughs> because the thing is, well, I'm not even doing Kev's it. Kev's going to be like, yeah, you four for your spot, yeah. Uh, no, like how it be in the fucking wild shit. <laughs> all right, I've been in this situation before. Well, we don't, really? gotta, we don't gotta tell that story if you don't want to, because you told me about it. I went to sleep. And it, and it wasn't hey, 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 hey. All right, Mook. 
<laughs> that should be Ash's spooky story, yeah. It wasn't a crack house, man. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not letting them fight. I'm Yo, not them fight. I, I'm not letting them fight I'm either. I'm coming down my Because like if, if, I, if I watch my girl get fucking beat up by some girl, man, I feel like a motherfucking yeah, bitch. Yeah, the thing, though, like, that's happened, but old girl had the crew with her, so she was... No, before, before you start. Well, that all oh, oh, no, no, no. No, hold on, hold on, sir. Okay. Next question. All right, fellas, your girl is on her way to your house. Uh, she said she's a couple minutes away, so you're waiting in your living room to listen out. Next thing you know, you hear yelling, open the door, and your girl and your crazy ex are fighting. Your crazy ex has three of her homegirls as backup. <laughs> And they're trying to jump your girl. What do you do? You jump in and you save your girl. And by that, you mean? Hey, man. <laughs> by that, I mean the girl that's getting sipped on. We can't do that. I know. Uh, what I mean is, by that, you mean, how do you save her? By whooping those other girls' asses, All right. man. Like, so. I'm not even trying to hold it. Like, if y'all are shooting a fair <laughs> one, it's whatever. I'm letting that ride out, beat my dick, whatever. Yo, <laughs> yeah, God that. damn, man. My fault. My fault. <laughs> the thing is, though, is if, like, y'all try to jump my girl, we got to rumble. Like, nah, I can't let my girl go out like that. Shit. Mook. Um... Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna try to stop that fight. I don't want to fight any girls, but nah, I want to. I'm gonna try to stop that fight. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been sick. I've been spitting I, weird shit. But on my I'm head, the one with the rack shit questions. Though. <laughs> I've been, I've been fucking sick. There's been some weird shit, man, going okay. on my head. At, well, you are. That's not. That's not for you. That's not for you. That's not for you. I got. I got a spooky story. I got a couple questions for ladies next, motherfucker. All right. All right. Pretty much, you just carry her off like she a damn football. Like y'all just gonna stay off her, ladies. Mercedes. You and your man are in love. He proposes to you. Is there any such thing as too small of a ring? No. If you think that a ring is too small, then you are not. A girl that is in it for love, you are probably in it for the material the type of thing. So no, there is no. You could give me a band and I would be okay. I don't necessarily need a diamond because that's How about a ring top. <laughs> but the ring top goes away. You still got the ring. Yeah, the the ring is still there. Just that not shit don't fit on my top. fucking finger. All right. So you not so you're not trying yeah, to hear that. Ring I, I would not get a, a fifty cent ring top. I'm right. sorry. I would, but, that's but you not think, acceptable. But you think However, if he spent you something like seventy five, a hundred dollars, you think I would be okay with that. Because right. it's not it's it's not it's about the thoughts, that. it's about it your is bond. about our love that we have Aww. together. It's not about like something that I can go on Facebook and show my girlfriends or whatever the case It's is. about y'all, not about everything else. Yes. Alright, you done with that? Yes. Next question. Ladies. I you know, as you say, I was expecting two oh, women to be here. You, want me to get you don't need to. I don't care. Um, could you ever envision yourself proposing to a man? Possibly. If it's the time was right and I felt as though um I wanted to move on to that next step, and I felt as though he wanted to move on to that next step. Possibly, yes. Who knows? He might be unsure. Or you think he might be scared of, yeah. yeah. exactly. And so, yes. He he might be unsure of what my feelings are, so Mm -hmm. he might not want to go through that rejection. So, I'm, you know. Cool. Fellas. You know how the tradition is. I don't know how many of you uh, are down with the tradition or whatever, but I know it's kind of a thing. You ask her father for her hand in marriage. He tells you no. <laughs> are you still proposing? Because I tell you, motherfucker, I'm still in. Yes. I wasn't next to that Okay, I Yeah, no, I'm not a dude. I wasn't next to that nigga anyway. Oh. Well, listen. Well, have you proposed to anybody? No. Okay. But if I did, I'm not asking your dad. Okay. A lot of people think. feel like it's tradition to ask for the father's hand in marriage first. Uh, uh, Kev. Fuck that nigga, bro. Stop. Damn, stop, bro. stop. Can Kev answer? Um, 
Can I forego my answer? Well, all right. I'm fair right. Can I say, like, it depends on the relationship with the father? Yeah, that makes as sense. As well. But, yeah, because if y'all have a problematic relationship, he's probably going to say no regardless. Or if he just feel like or you the like nigga fucking his daughter. Like necessarily matter. <laughs> but then again, like, if the dad ends up saying no, it's, it doesn't necessarily matter because it's not you and the father's relationship. Mm-hmm. It is the, you know, it's your and your girl's relationship. Mm-hmm. So, like, Is that it? Yeah. All right. A, well, a, some sort of event or show or whatever comes on. That's the best. What? Yeah. Okay, and you can't watch it live, but plan on watching DVR on demand or through legal means at some point. Um, are you avoiding the social media to avoid spoilers? Depending on what it is, yes. You I said a this, what? Huh? Come on, man, pay attention, goddamn. I'm it. sorry. A show, an event, whatever, comes yeah. on TV, and you can't watch it live or plan on watching DVR or on demand or through legal means. Do you avoid social media to avoid yeah. spoilers? Or do yeah, you not? for sure. All right. okay. Yes, absolutely. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy comes to mind. I went to see that, and people were posting up spoilers online. I got mad and I went off and told him what's up. Yeah, I've done it several times. Uh, I've done it as well. How long after a show airs do you think it's okay to publicly speak about it? A day. A day? Yeah. Not that night. Just as long as it's not that night. I say the next week. I say if it's something I really enjoy, I'm live tweeting through that bitch. I don't care. Just stay on social media. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, hashtag Game of Thrones fan, y'all. Yeah. Y'all right. Just stay on Facebook, stay on Twitter, I, and you're I, good. I don't watch the show because yeah. you fuck Yeah, I'm not talking about you, but I'm talking about them because that's kind of what reminded me because uh, people were complaining about shit this way. Oh, my God, uh, if people are spoiling, just stay the fuck off Facebook. Quick question. This is me asking this just based off of what you said in the last couple questions. People who put up statuses that shh. Such and such show is on or whatnot. Yeah. I hate those statuses more too. than anything else. Like, Go shut the fuck up and die. Wow. Um, name a... Oh, fuck it. A movie that most people love that you do not like. Oh, um, hmm. Like that most people, you know, deem some sort of a classic or whatever. Or at least a classic for that era. The Artist. I don't even the know artist. what it is. But. That's a, it was a silent movie that won a lot of Oscars and people overhyped the shit out of it. People I, you know? Yes. Okay. I watched the movie and I said I hate every last one of you motherfuckers to death. Mook. A movie that was hyped that you didn't Not like? That, well, yeah, people whatever. Like, like the people in your circle, should I say. Real people, no. not just like Personally the critics. Like movies, well, Tinsley likes shit. You oh. like shit. I don't know if his other people like Cam and all them. I don't know. Uh, my boss, he hyped. Uh, he was hyping. Um, fuck. What was that oh, movie? Was you want to let Ash go? Go first? ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I got to think of the movie. I'm right? okay. I'm changing up my answer now. La La Land. Everybody and their daddy talked about that I bullshit. I like it. It's with Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. Hollywood's was that the is, was that the drama where they thought they won and they lost, or was that the, yes. the movie that yes. won in the end or whatever? I, I, I like La La Land. Say exactly. People overheard the shit out of that movie to me. No, it was it. extra hype. Yes, but I like it. Boring. Uh-huh. It boring, uh, and I hate it. Move. Did you think of your thing? Um. Uh well, it wasn't a movie. It was actually a album. Whatever. But, um, well, I'm, I'm gonna do albums again at some point though. Okay. But, but so, my boss, so he like hyped Hobson's album, mm-hmm. and yeah, it was it was trash. Yeah. All right, Ash. So like that that the Martian movie with Matt Damon. Yeah. That came out a couple years ago. Yeah. Or even that that one was it Gravity with Sandra Bullock. Yo, that movie was a. a it was just mind. boring and like. I don't understand how it won all those awards. Because of... You know. I mean, I understand why, but I don't understand because it was not a good movie. They 
It wasn't. And uh, I know Ash isn't going to like this, but I'm, I'm going to go with Elf. I didn't like Elf. I fucked with Elf. I don't like Will Ferrell. No, I don't really like The thing about it is, I was actually going to go with Anchorman first, but I remember Elf. I don't, even though more people love Anchorman, but I like everybody, Elf more than Anchorman. I feel like people feel an attachment to Elf. Elf is, it was one of my favorite Christmas I think Elf. I think Elf is kind of trash, man. Really? Yeah, I think I was gonna try. It's one of my favorite Christmas time movies. Alright, um, you wake up about an hour before your alarm is supposed to go off. What do you do? I should get ready for my day. Yeah. Like, at that point, I'm woke and I know I'm mad, so I'm just getting ready for my day and I'm just gonna be extra mad for that hour. Yep. Mook murder. What do I do when I'm getting ready Pay for attention, my day? Man. Pay attention. I was picking the next beat, I'm sorry. You wake up about an hour before your alarm is supposed to go off to wake you up for work or whatever. What do you do? I, uh... You go back to sleep? No, yeah. If I can't go back to sleep, uh... I might, uh, go get that, uh, jerk before work. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's that shit? Yo, I ain't doing shit else, yo. I probably got the fucking morning for it because I got a piss. Fuck it, man. You know what I mean? I might get that jerk before work. Wow. Hey, man. Wow. Hey. This is what I'm here for. Yeah, right? I'm going to just start my day an hour early, more than likely. <laughs> yeah. And most likely get a good breakfast out of it because I actually have the time to sit down and relax and not, like, pause, scarf down and shit. Yeah, I'm going to start my day early at the home. I'll read some or play a game, play with my cat. All right. Who was the dumbest? Cole from Martin, Waldo from Family Matters, mm. Jazz from Fresh Prince, or Junior from My Wife and Kids. Junior from My Wife and Kids. Oh my! No, no but question. Junior was smart but stupid. He was smart at one thing, wasn't well, he? Well, that wasn't. Listen, no, I, 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 y'all, y'all have different I, I, answers. I, I, that was his answer. My answer is Junior. No. Y'all have different answers. Go for it. Cole, Cole, Ash. I don't remember Cole knowing anything. Ooh, I'm gonna say Waldo. I'm gonna Waldo too. Waldo was just well, he was good at Waldo ball. could not, cook real not, good. Not, yeah, he can cook Waldo and play ball. Master you chef. don't. Oh, uh, and tap dance too. Yeah. Cooking and and playing ball has nothing to do with your smartness. Nah, nah, you, you got I think you got to be some a, sort a of smart and like cook well. well. You become a millionaire fucking chef, yo. You don't need to be smart to become a millionaire. That's chef, what I'm though. saying. But he was good. He was he very skilled. good at that He was thing. skilled is what they're but, saying. I, I agree. Waldo's my pick, too. Cole was legit. Waldo and Cole. Yeah, Waldo's my pick. Know what was Cole good at? They know one what, they when did Cole, Cole ever show you, damn, this nigga know this? Honestly. He was mooshing off Big Shirley. And his mom. Come on. Yo. He was. Yeah, hey. but that ain't going to really get you nowhere in life like that. As long that. as Big Shirley living, you know. Well, if Big Show was the biggest they say, <laughs> hey, yo, come on, man. Come on, man. And Jazz. I mean, Jazz wasn't smart. I feel like either, jazz, jazz was like, good at something. Well, music. He was doing music there, right? Yeah. Was it well, music? like, season, yeah. like, one through, like, three. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. All right, and last question. What is the best thing to happen to you this week? Kev, you had one, right? Um... Yeah, that piece of shit sheriff Damn. fucking resigned. Oh, fucking yes. David Clark, that piece of shit. I'm very happy about that. That's the best thing that happened this week. Piece Oof. of shit. Um, the best thing that happened to me this week was hanging out with Danielle. They were water hanging out with your family, man. They hanging with all of you guys. Look that motherfucker. All right. Yeah. Your all right. family Wait here. For a second. Your I family here. All of you guys. Ash paid Thank for your food. You. Yeah. Ash did buy me food. You know what? No, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> but I definitely appreciate Ash buying me food. I did not expect that. Why? Why not? You think Ash did too? Ash don't buy me shit. Hmm. And who be buying you shit of me and Ash? 
If it's, it's, it's most likely John. Okay. Because John not too. Well, I ask. Nothing. You hung out with Nothing your brother. Nothing happened, yeah. You didn't Yo. hang out with your uh, homies. I did not hang out with my homies. You hung out with your brother. Thank nothing you. at work happened or nothing fun at all this week. Not anything good happened this week. You hung out with your brother. That's that's didn't fun. You, didn't you realize you was in the video this week or something? Hey ho. Oh no. Hey ho. <laughs> All in the video. Well, I'm not yeah. talking about that <laughs> video. I'm talking yeah, about man. a music video. All them states, you nah, know, who knows? It wasn't really <laughs> much. I woke up every day on time this week. Or well, good for you. early. That's a, you proud of that? That's a good yeah. thing. No, there hasn't been anything good this week. Guys. You hung out with your brother, man. I got to hang out with John. Thank you. Yay! Yeah, man, that's the best part of your day, man. The best part of waking up. Is Duncan ain't come out with my pumpkin coffee yet, yo. Damn, son. I seen a joint on Facebook earlier about the pumpkin spice joint, and I thought of you shit, and Kyle. Kyle told me it was supposed to be there last Monday. You stressed oh, me I went there on Friday, and guess what? Mm, mm, mm. I'm so happy. He ain't have it for you because me, Mook, and Cav beat him in 2K, Y'all man. Y'all gonna have to stop beating my man Kyle, yo. He <laughs> need to hook me up with that pumpkin spice coffee. Did, when we, we beat him in 2K a couple weeks ago, I told you we beat the dude from Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, Dunkin'. okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought y'all ain't gonna no more. You I know don't. Me? Okay. I haven't had coffee. Yeah, did he say here. something about us being them? Yeah. I told her to bring it up he next time she's seen him, but she ain't once, seen him in a minute. Yeah. He right. told me my pumpkin spice supposed to be there. She called him. Well, he called her pumpkin, too. Aww. Kev? What's up? Kev, are you went. Oh, you went? Okay. Yeah, All right. And uh, the best thing to happen to me this week is I'm feeling better these last yeah, couple days. Because I had a really yeah. bad week. Yay, Josh. Hey, I miss my cousin on 2K, man. You know what I mean? We need to go to the doctor. I'll be back, man. I'll be back. Why when I feel good now? So why you don't go to the doctor? For what? Exactly. What? I'm not hurting. I'm not either. I'm not either. I'm not either. All right. All right. So uh, we're going to go to a break, and are we going to... We're going to come back with something special. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be back with something. You'll That's find out. That's yeah. a little late there. I like that lead-in. Woo! Like Woo! There you go. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Hey, Bad shout out, shout, shout out to Ric Flair, man. He's oh, recovering yeah. to whatever extent. He's looking yeah. like a feeble old man in that video I yeah. uh, posted earlier. But he's alive. He's moving. He's tools on him. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying, he's man. Well, he he man. definitely look like Mr. Burns. Woo! Uh, hopefully he's getting better. And, uh, he wasn't that strong, bro. Uh, he the definitely Ooh. wasn't that strong. He was, he was like, ooh. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully he's okay soon and he can uh, live however long he's gonna live, and yeah. this doesn't deter his uh, life. All right, All right but so, uh, Calgary is here. We're back, and it is time for Mook's. Spooky is it time for Mook's spooky stories? stories? But is it time for this week? Mook is handing the torch over to. Uh, Ash and Kev, they got some stories uh, related to uh, some a topic that we talked about earlier with the uh, Two topics. boyfriend or significant other uh, seeing uh, someone from the opposite sex giving you the eye and the drama that uh, arrives from it. But since I've actually never had this situation, I don't think, I've never had this situation, I've had Facebook beefs over me. But, um, yeah, we'll let uh, them take it away. So, Ash? All right, so my story happened about, I want to say about 10 years ago or so. Okay. Um, I was in Old City, oh. and I was hanging out. I uh, yeah. went to this club down there, and I was dancing and having fun with my significant other at the time. Do not take your girl down Old City. Especially it was a Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is on Saturday night. Do not take your girls with you down Old City, bro. You know everybody trying to holler at something. And everybody down there is potentially strapped. And they trying to just show off for everybody. 
So, like, don't take your girl down there. That's where you shouldn't take your girl. To the club in Old City on a Saturday night, bro. You know it's lit. So, uh, go ahead, Ash. So, I was a, a fresh young whippersnapper hey, at that time. And, you know, I, I felt that looked cute. So, this guy pretty much, he grabbed my hand and told me I was beautiful. As we were walking to our car... And I, you know, said thank you, but pretty much no thank you. I'm not interested. Here is my, my guy. And um, so my guy got pretty mad because he was incredibly jealous all the time over everything. Um, but so they had words and um, words led to fisticuffs, so to speak. And my guy ended up sleep. Your guy ended up asleep? Yeah. Your the dude you went with? <laughs> On the ground. Was knocked out? Sleep. For about 30 seconds or so. Sleep. And all I remember are these two Asian guys walking past us saying you just got knocked the fuck out. Sleep! So I, you know, being the good girlfriend I was, I came to his aid and, you know, gotta wake up. Let's get up. He was leaking. His his head was leaking and he had a cut there that was still there at the time that you know, we discontinued our relationship. Um, he didn't grow hair back at that area and it was a pretty bad situation, but pretty much he thought he was being tough. The guy said, you don't want these hands. He said, yes, I do. And the guy showed him the business. And, um, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did your respect grow or lessen? Did it grow for him oh. standing? Hold on, for him. Was the person bigger or smaller than him? He was. Smaller. Never mind. Never mind. Oh. He was smaller than he was. Was it by a lot or? No, it wasn't by a lot. But you can tell that the guy was a little bit more muscular than, oh. or like in shape than he right. was. Well, did, did your respect grow for him standing, standing up for you? No, because I didn't want any of that. Oh. I didn't say lesson, but it didn't grow because I, uh. I told him that I was with him, and that's pretty much So you was. think if it was the tables are turning, he knocked that dude out. Would your respect have grown? Probably not. I don't, I don't think I'd do that. Because you don't think that my... I think if my, you knocked him out for you... But... Over you? He started the fight. Somebody, if somebody, he, he started the argument. The dude grabbed your arm, though. He grabbed my hand. And oh, so that's that what they people. do to him. They that's do why that. you don't take they your do girl. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with that, but I'm just saying, if some dude grabbed your girl arm, you and I said no right thanks. Now? I said no I'm thanks. I'm going to say something. I don't know about you. Ah, <laughs> man. Because, no. Yo, listen. <laughs> I, know, I know the niggas that be... Well, <laughs> I'm saying, I know most of them niggas down there, they got guns on them. They like looking to start some shit. So, so you'd be like, all right, sir, you got it. No, I wouldn't have did that. I would argue, but I'd argue. Oh, no, I'm out. I would argue you. while backtracking to the car. Because <laughs> <laughs> you bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass nigga. He's gonna be like, stop fucking playing. He's gonna be like, oh, the Simpsons. Do do do. You gonna be like Marlon? You gonna like Marlon? Hold me back! Hold me back! Hold me back! Yo, she wasn't here, nigga. I'll tear yeah, your yeah, fucking yeah, head I'll off, nigga. Beat you the fuck up, nigga. She wasn't. Uh, uh, oh, you did my yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I've been in a situation similar to that where I had to hold somebody back or hold my significant other back, and yeah, somebody well. did pull out a gun. Well, yeah, it, see, it was bad. That's what they do. They be having guns on them down South Street, South Street yeah. bro. Like, you can't be fucking, you can't be fucking around in it. Just don't even put yourself in that situation down South Street, bro. Just let's go. I'm with you. I came with you. I was yeah. leaving with well, you, and that's what it was. Thing is, you some, didn't need to defend my honor because yeah. I said, look, I don't want if, you, and if, let's go. Yeah. If she turned him down, that was the work. That was it. Yeah. It was you don't have to do you second don't have to put in no more work. Just yeah. let's keep walking. Like you know. Sometimes I mean? you want to shout for you. No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, not there. See, and not there. Right. when you show out, and yeah, you I, agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. How many people was that dude with? 
How many people was he Nobody. With? He oh. was by himself. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean, I had no care. I thought this nigga was like, I thought this nigga was like eight deep or some well, shit. Well, hell no. Nah. Ain't no fucking point in fighting that motherfucker unless you should. You should be down there like 16 deep and you. all that shit. I get you. That's I get what you. I'm saying. There's no point in trying it. I get you. But, I get you. Oh, well. well, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just talking about your normal venue. I thought he was by himself. How many people was your significant other with? It was just me and him. We went out to oh, okay. I was just right. talking about a normal venue. He thought it was a one on one. Standing up here, girl. <laughs> it was. It was a one on one. Come on, man. Go on. It, it just didn't one. work out in his favor. And I just yeah. said, all right, fair enough. Just, like, leave. Yeah. And that's pretty much what it was. Shit, <laughs> Kev, yeah. you got a story to tell? I Unless know. you have anything to add. No, that I was know. pretty much the end. He got up. We, we, we <laughs> I made sure he was. <laughs> I made sure he was okay to drive, and we went home. Well, and he like you did talk to me for the rest of the day. You wanna uh, tell the uh, oh, stories shit. about um? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, this is hilarious. Yeah, man. <laughs> you had to fix it. You know when niggas get their fucking, um, get fucking eye drop shell, yep. and the doctor, oh. like, yeah, it's not safe for him to drop. Oh. No. Alright. This nigga oh, got his ass. Yeah, you can tell one of your stories. Alright. So, I gotta oh, have both of these. Shit, yeah. First these first. Um, in response to. <laughs> All right, well, hold on. You want to do that now? Well, um, as a, okay, sorry, Kev. I apologize. That <laughs> oh, just reminded oh. me of another situation. So, um, I was right, coming bit, back from, I think we was coming back from AC or something like that one day. And, um, we was, like, kind of near, like, Aramingo Avenue. Like, you know, the, um... Where the turn off of the the 95, 95 yeah, yeah. near Aramingo Avenue. Where um playing the fitness at. Yeah. So we was going somewhere around there to go grab some food real quick before we went home. Yeah. And um something happened and it was two guys this time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um and as I mentioned before, there was this one time a guy pulled out a gun. Right. So, so, is this all with those same significant? Yeah. All right. Keep thought it's Come on, come on, come Shout on. Shout out to my man, Scrappy Do It. Come on. Scrappy <laughs> Adam, Scrappy Adam. So, I don't I, I think we were driving down the street or some shit like that, and this dude was standing out um, in the middle of the street. So, he, like, honked his horn at him. It was, like, 1 o'clock in the, after, um, in the morning. And he, like, honked his horn at him. The guy ended up hitting um, his windshield with his hand. So he stopped, got out of the car. I got out of the car. What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. So the guy and him started arguing and shit. And um, there was maybe a couple punches thrown, but the one friend ended up pulling up out a gun. And then all of a sudden, you smell this smell. So my significant other, um, go boom boom. Go went boom boom in the pants pants. All right, yo. All right, yo. Come on, yo. I'm done. You can't, yo. Done. You can't done. now. <laughs> Is that not? She had a gun pointed to him, though. I don't matter. <laughs> Is that? Yeah, I, for some shit he started. He didn't start it. Well, I'm saying he, he got out the a car. Lot of fucking fights. He could have drove he past. He could have drove past. I think after a Mook. Um, Admitting to the things he did, I think that might have been the top spooky story we've had since then. Yeah, yeah. This is bad. This is so real bad. How was that ride home? He took his drawers off and threw them somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) And then we we went. You can't talk to that man no more. Well, I don't talk to him ever again. But y'all stayed together after that. Yes. 
Ash, you are a loyal girl. I was a very yeah. loyal girl. Because this man was looking for trouble and in all the wrong was. places. Exactly. And, and, uh, and he found it. He, he did. Found it in his pants. He got everything he was looking for. Uh, as the great Benny Siegel said. Uh, he, found wow. he found trouble several times. Yeah. Sometimes he, he came out victorious. Good. But sometimes. You gotta go boom boom. I'll be honest no, with you. you don't. Yo, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. Unless somebody else went boom boom in their pants because of him. Nobody else went boom boom. Right, boom, boom they, in they, the pants. He lost, in my opinion, more than he won. I'm not going boom boom in the pants unless I'm Why shot. I stabbed or something, man. Yeah. Somebody got to bleed or something. Gotta, shit. Went, yeah. Well, not shit. You're not gonna show me no gun and I'm shitting myself. You better shot. Shoot, a pistol with me or something like, shit. Yeah. Shoot, shoot right here, I don't give a fuck. So what did he say and he when was he was like, yo, I got kids. I think he said, oh. oh. Yeah, well, no, listen, that's true, though. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah, but it come on, yo. How man. you get out the car to start the fight and then now you begging for your life? If somebody pull a gun on you, what you gonna do, though? If somebody I'm gonna pull a gun like this. Alright. Alright, right, you got it. I'm not gonna be... Come on, man. I got kids, yeah, yeah. man. Right. Now, that's what you say now until it happens, Nigga. Though. Nigga. Come on, yeah. Nigga. If you got kids, you, you gonna shout with me. Nigga. Kids? Nigga. Yeah, but I'm not I ain't nigga. saying you shit you yourself. I ain't nigga. doing that shit. I'm I ain't shit baby. myself. Oh, I, I'm, not, I'm not excusing that part. I think he shot part. himself as a, uh, a thing of defense. A defense mechanism. <laughs> well, shit. No, it it could work. It wasn't defense. It could work. I ain't trying to be near that shit. It was a mission for sure. It was He tapped out, literally. I was thinking with that, I just think that... It was a very scary situation where he, um, you know, he had to release himself. He got to chill, yeah. That's all bad. Can, yeah, can you go bad. to your story? Yo, I can't talk to him, man. man. That's, that's, so that's it. Well, can you at least just tell your story? I should have saved mine for the end. I apologize. Just tell your story. All right. For starters, um, I, for starters, a dude tried to pop off at my chick at one point in time, and my chick being a rider at that point, um... He goes over to her. I'm standing there and I'm chilling. I'm waiting for her to get off of work right now. A dude pops off and says, yo, what you doing after work? She points to me and says the phrase, him. The boy looks over to me and I just give him a quick wave or whatnot. He nods like real mad or some shit like that. Walks outside the store. She and I go out. She and I walking out the store. He starts laughing with his gang or whatnot because I think he tried to tell him that I'm sweet or anything along those lines. And we going about our day. I don't escalate the drama because, quite frankly, um, kid was younger than me, and I ain't want to go to jail for whooping a little kid's ass. So, <laughs> smart. Yeah, yes, exactly. Smart. Very smart. So, oh no. Hey, now, it's him and his gang. Very smart. The thing right? is, you is keep that, on moving. I, yeah, I kept on moving because you know I kept on. I did my thing that night while he's banging with his friends. So exactly. He takes a loss. So, old girl. I'm at, we had a bowling party. Bowling, shit like that, Dave and Busters. We're doing our thing. It's a good time. We should. Absolutely. I love, I love we should bowling. go paint bowling too. We should get yeah, well, um, laser tagging too. Laser tagging is fun. We should so, random girls to bowl with. Um, yeah, so you can leave them on yeah, the way back. Like an right. asshole. It's, so, um, it's only right. It's your addition. It's your All right, right. Kevin's yeah, telling a story, guys. Oh, yeah, Kevin, I'm sorry. I'm that's fine, but that's a warning. So, in any which case, um, I'll make it as quick so you can get your point wow. out. I try to get a flower for my girl. I go over to this girl. She's attractive and whatnot, but I'm just asking her, like, yo, can I get a flower real quick? She says, and I quote, is that flower for me? And put your hand around my back. At that point in time, my hands are up. In the right, left side of my ear, I'm hearing scream, what the fuck is going on there? And I'm thinking, oh, shit, I know one of these voices. I got to be knowing one of these voices and whatnot. So I back away from the girl, turn around, there is my girl's cousin with my girl, with her other, with her sister, with their mom, with my girl's mom, and they're congregating and they're planning. My girl's popping off loudly saying, I know that bitch did not have her fucking hands around my fucking man. I'm about to beat this bitch's ass. Why the fuck did this bitch think she could do some shit like that with my man? Her cousins... Their moms, they're hyping her the fuck up. I'm like, yo, chill. We are not going to get arrested because y'all want to beat this chick down, y'all. Stop this shit. So, I avoided that fight. Years later, I go to Wildwood with this chick. I see this Russian girl's out of a pizza place. 
I want some pizza, I want a tomato pie, I go, I get my tomato pie. Old girl spends the entire time staring at me. My girl points it out like, yo, this chick been eyeballing the fuck out of you since we've been here. I'm like, all right, I never know. I look over the chick, staring at me. Look down, look back over the chick, still staring at me. I'm just looking away like, oh my fucking God. My girl's getting hyped at this point. Do I really have to beat this bitch's ass while we on vacation? I'm like, nah, fam. Chill, 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 chill. Do not get us fucked up in this situation. She's getting hyped. She's getting hyped. Girl's still looking at me. Girl's still looking at me. We eventually walk out. Girl stops me, takes my hand, says, I hope you enjoyed the pizza. My girl gets angry. I'm like, we out, we out, we out, we out, we out, we out, we out. So I've saved my girl from beating some other chick's ass multiple times and saved my ass from going to jail multiple times <laughs> on some shit like that. Okay. I've never had to beat a nigga's ass over some chick before. Right. Um, I had to make my presence known once or twice. Dude will try to size you up a little bit, but if you just stay cool, shit don't happen to you. You just carry on about your day. And that's my stories for that. And also, one of my exes who did, in fact, cheat on me, who did, in fact, have kids, did, in fact, wind up homeless, did, in fact, ask me to move in. I said, nah. At that time, I did not want her to move in with me because she was grimy as shit. And she lived in a fucking tent for like four months, and I lost contact with her. That's my story for tonight. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Uh, and breaking news. Cat. Breaking news. Uh, Brock Osweiler signs a one year deal with the Denver Broncos. He's coming back home. Oh, really? So mm-hmm. he's getting paid how much from Houston? Or uh, Cleveland? $16 million from Cleveland. And I believe this uh, is for a quarter mil. The uh, Broncos deal. He gave him a quarter mil? Yeah, a quarter mil. God damn. God damn, homie. Imagine if you just would have took the deal with the Broncos. You could still be on this team, man. I know. Whatever. Back. Back. Uh, um, I'm and guessing that that's it. Uh, a very uh, interesting uh, spooky stories there. Uh, wow. <laughs> I've got lots of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Ash is the Let's MVP of the show saying, yeah. today. But um, you're gonna be back next week for episode 50. You gotta come back it's for 50. Next week? No, it's it's, it's the week next after, week. Right? We're not skipping a week since oh, Jay's yeah, not gonna Jay be here. here. Next well, week. I'm not going to be here next week. It's Sunday. Okay. I won't. Not at all. I got the fish fry next week. If y'all do it next week, the week after next, I will be here. I promise. It's my word. And I'm not like Eric. This is this is what people like you do, man. You know? I already said. I thought what I was time is the fish fry though? starting there? Nine. Nine in the morning? No. So PM? why you can't come here so earlier? Why can't you come here? Y'all going to drop me off? Are we gonna do it? If we can do a fucking early, if we can do an early show, well, she can be done by now. Uh, so you can't what do time a, is it? Where is it at? So you can't do a fucking four o'clock show? Oh, um, possibly if Waka don't gotta get her hair done or nothing. Yeah. Kev, you good with doing a four o'clock show? So Ash can get this shit done. Sure. If we can do an early show, cause we this is fifty. Skins for sure. Too. Yeah, hopefully you can, can make we it. Can we do it next time? Yeah, that is next time, sis. Next week? No, Ash. It started at 5. Not, nigga, what happened to 9 o'clock? <laughs> How the fuck y'all doing a goddamn fish fry? What y'all gonna fish fry for fucking two hours? Nah, four hours. Five to nine? Mm-hmm. Well, I get that. I'm just saying if it was starting at 9, how long I mean, would y'all go? Why well, could get our hair done Friday? We can pro- we can start whenever. If you want to do it so in the, the morning after y'all fucking... the goddamn monkey wrench in the goddamn proceeding. If y'all want to do it... You don't think I need to sleep with right after, right after you have a goddamn MVP performance. Yeah. Now you, now you holding out for if more money, T.O. Come on, Poppy. <laughs> If y'all skip next week, I'll definitely be on the next week. I promise. Yeah. I can we can't promise skip next all week. of y'all that I'll be here. Are we doing something Monday or no? I'm never. Mm. I'm not doing it. You got something to do Monday? Yeah, lay the fuck down and wait for Tuesday to come around. High five. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, well, no, we can't do Sunday because Sunday's the party. Um, hey, guys. How about we? talking we... about this Monday is Labor Day. Uh, well, 
We'll Don't figure that out. But hey, that I hope y'all had y'all have a good time. Check back in. Check back in. Facebook, I'm Twitter, YouTube. Look at Sarah on email. LSRPod at gmail.com. Baby. Baby. LSRPOD at gmail.com. All right. Baby. Like, subscribe, vote on the polls. Let us know what you love, what you yeah. hate, who you love, who you hate. What you think we should do more of? What you think we should do less of? You thought Ashley was the MVP? Ooh. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 and um, shit like that, man. Let us know if you miss Dre. We'll give him your love. And uh, we I don't think we missed it, but uh, we're missing Tinsley this week. We don't know what happened. He just didn't show up. So um, He's he, hunting for polar bears. He uh, he might uh, he might be back next week. Hopefully, we have him here for fifty. We shall see, and uh, we will see you next week. Same bat time, same bad channel. We might actually see you on I don't know, maybe Sunday or Monday or something. But uh, we shall see you again. Hey. It don't matter if it's fucking Sunday or Monday because you wouldn't know the difference anyway. Considering we we'll push these things out like a month later. I'll but, uh, miss you. Stay strong, Houston. We have you in our thoughts and prayers. That's yeah, that's, I forgot to do that last week. Yeah, um, you know, a quick shout out to uh, Houston in the Houston area for the Hurricane Harvey. You guys stay fighting and all this other stuff. I'm gonna do what I never thought I would do. I would. I'm gonna shout out JJ Watt. J.J. Watt has raised, I believe, at this point, $16 million wow. for relief to uh, the hurricane. Um, you know, stuff like that. And uh, shout out to a whole lot of these celebrities and even regular people donating whatever you can. I donated. Whether it's money, whether it's clothes, whether it's fucking toys. People are donating fucking sanitary fucking things. You know. Time as well. Always yeah, your too. time and shit, man. So shout out to everybody. I was trying to help these people because they really need it right now. And I'm really proud that people are actually uh, doing this together because they didn't really do this for Katrina, man. Not until it was like a really big thing, you know, to, to, to help these people out. But, uh, yeah, shout out to everybody helping out these people because they, they need it more than anything else right now. So you guys are in our thoughts. And uh, 